Salamania House is a two-storey coastal home designed for a family of five. It's located along the canal frontage in Burley Waters. The name is Balinese, it means the forever house. The client chose the name because they believe this will be their home forever. The client was living in the existing house for a number of years. It was an old single-storey brick home. It was a very dark, very minimal ventilation. It did have an internal courtyard, which was underutilised. So their brief to us was to try and create a very open new home with lots of natural light. And the Poinciana was what dominated the whole street frontage of this site. And to us, that was what the streetscape should be about, is this landscape. The house had been pushed back from the street. And on the western side, we really tried to capture natural ventilation and natural light through the courtyard. The quality of that light that comes through this big open courtyard changes the mood and atmosphere of the internal space. You feel like you're actually part of the landscape experience. You always got to walk past the courtyard to get to any space within this house. For the tight constraint site, the house actually feels very open. That is because the courtyard is such a big open space that allows lots of natural light. The idea was really trying to integrate with the water frontage, create outdoor rooms and maximising views. The client really likes to entertain and have people over and hang out with their friends. So the bedrooms were designed to be more functional and compact in size, so we had more room for the entertaining areas. Really large veranda space that people can gather around there and look back to the west, down the canal frontage, and just see this beautiful hinterland skyline. The courtyard turns into a two-storey void, a slice taken out of the middle of the house. So it feels like an extension of this big outdoor volume One of the nice things that came out of this project during construction was the clients decided to include a spiral staircase from the low entertaining area to connect up to the master bedroom balcony. The lower floor was set up for the children to run through the house. It was really their own children's playground. All their bedrooms have doors that open out to the landscape so they can run around the perimeter of the home. And the parents want to have their own retreat, which is on the first floor. They can get away from the noise, have their own private space up there. The client was a builder. Having that architect builder relationship is really key in any project. Working closely with Aaron Hennessy and his team, we could really push the boundaries in construction and technology. No matter where you are in the space, you're always looking out. You've either seen sky or you've seen landscaping. It's a highlight window. It's just such a simple idea, but it allows light and ventilation through the whole building. So in summer, when it's really hot, the heat can move out and the breeze can move through the house. Keeping the material palette to three key elements, the stone, the VJ, and the timber, you know it's not going to date. That fine detailing, expressing the structure, I think has really created this local vernacular. Salamania House is a great representation of what a Gold Coast home should be. Simple, timeless architecture. A contemporary interpretation reflecting that really old Gold Coast beach shack that suits our climate, our context. This house portrays that enduring architecture that we're after in the BDA project. We don't tend to follow fashions. We're not trying to keep up with the latest trends. You don't have to have a Hampton home. You don't have to have a Palm Springs home. You can just have a Gold Coast home.